Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Adelaine and I'm going to show you today 12 ways of styling the white shirt. So you might be thinking the white shirt a bit of a boring piece but I say it's an absolute staple for your wardrobe and I'm going to show you 12 amazing ways of styling it. So stay tuned. For this look I kept it classic where I teamed the shirt with the Ralph Lauren blue and white striped blazer straight leg jeans and a tan belt which I think just breaks up the whole look, a crossover bag and some white trainers. I love pairing neutrals with gold jewellery as I feel it looks modern and warms the whole look up. I chose a chunky gold necklace and bracelet set as it keeps the look very now and I love adding trend leg pieces to a classic look and rolling the sleeves up is very flattering and looks stylish and of course a pair of white crisp trainers you can never go wrong with. I then threw my H&M cardigan over my shoulders just to give it that Ralph Lauren preppy style which I absolutely love. I think it just adds more interest to your outfit and it looks like you've just put more thought into it but still in a very effortless way. So look at number two, I've kept the white shirt untucked, buttoned up but left the first two or three buttons open and the key element to this look to take you from day to night is the statement necklace. I teamed the whole look with a black oversized biker jacket which is just easy to throw over and it's warm but it doesn't cause creases in your shirt as well, it's really important especially when you wear an oversized shirt, that's a great tip just to wear your jacket thrown over and I've teamed this with pleather leggings, crossover bags so your arms are free and you're not having to faff with uh, having to keep your jacket over your shoulder. So again, the shirt is untucked, but this time it's buttoned all the way up to the top with a statement necklace, but I've worn this on the outside, which I think gives it a really cool edgy look. I've kept my lips nude, but I think that a red lipstick would really pop on this. And here we have it untucked again, but in a more casual way, worn with jeans and loafers. Trainers would look equally as nice. And I think this just looks just very classy. But again, I've worn a chunky gold necklace just to keep it really modern with the sleeves rolled up on there as well. That just gives it a really chic, stylized look. And I've worn my trusty Aldo bag with this look over the shoulders, but you can also wear it thrown over, as you can see here in a crossbody way which looks really chic. I think chic's definitely going to be the word of the day. <laughs> and you can see here I've just teamed it again with my um, Louis Vuitton bag, my Speedy and I've swapped the loafers for the trainers instead for some white trainers. And I think this looks so just effortless. Look number three, knitwear. Knitwear teamed with a white shirt softens the look of the shirt and of course the extra layer keeps you warm and looks really chic. I always feel that some knitwear can look quite boring on its own but as soon as you team it with a white shirt it just gives the knitwear a lease of life and looks so much more put together and the sleeveless roll neck is a great transitional piece for either summer into autumn or winter into spring and leather leggings just gives it a more edgy look, adds more interest to the whole look, but jeans would work just as well. Chunky boots would look great with this look also, just to give it a bit more edge and more of a casual look. Another knitwear look is with a cardigan and I've teamed it with a gold chunky necklace just to keep it again looking very now but dainty jewellery would look great as well, just a bit more classic. Teamed it with a tan belt and some jeans with some white trainers which just looks really preppy. Pop the collar on there as you can see, I think that just gives it a real preppy look and just it looks just, I love this outfit and here you can see I've just thrown on the blazer over the shoulders, it just gives the outfit extra dimension and just looks so much more put together as well. This is your full tuck. So here I've tucked it into high waisted leather trousers, jeans or just generally any high waisted trouser would look great to be honest with you as well. Um, I've worn pointed boots and my Ralph Lauren tote bag 
I just think this monochromatic look just looks really chic, it never dates. And again, it's keeping it monochromatic but with a midi pleated leather skirt, just looks so chic and stylish. And the slight difference here is that I've actually knotted the shirt rather than tucking it in and I think this just adds a modern twist with the chunky pearls I think that looks so great over the collar and my Louis Vuitton belt just really elevates the whole look and my Aldo bag my trusty Aldo bag I wear this so often I absolutely love it I love teaming a white shirt with a belt and you can wear a thin belt or a thick belt just depends on the look that you're going for I personally chose a chunky belt to give the shirt more of a feminine silhouette and to define my waist and a larger bag just to balance the belt. Worn untucked and keeping at least the first three buttons open and you can wear either a bralet or a vest underneath so that you're not exposed. I personally wore pointed boots but you can wear a chunky heel for a more casual look and in these warmer months you can wear loafers or sandals. This is your half and half tuck. It's a really relaxed and stylish look that looks best with everything kept quite understated and minimal, where it shows the length and the shape of the shirt. I'd definitely recommend with this look to keep your shirt oversized. And I've worn gold jewelry again. I just think it looks really modern, really stylish. And with the pleather leggings just gives it more of an edgy feel to the whole look and some chunky boots and this look is the half tuck which is an absolute classic I absolutely love wearing my shirts like this and this is how I tend to wear it on most days to be honest um, it's a very flattering stylish and effortless look and yeah I just think you can't go wrong with this look so for this look I've worn the shirt unbuttoned it's like outerwear really like you would wear the very popular shacket it's a very 90s look and it feels, I just feel so comfortable in this look to be honest. It's so laid back, really casual, really cool. I've teamed it with the black vests and mom jeans and my favourite H&M chunky boots. And yeah, this 90s look is my vibe totally. I grew up with the likes of like Janet Jackson, Cindy Crawford, Tom Banks, Brooke Shields, Kate Moss, they all wore these looks. And yeah, I just wanted to keep the look very clean and simplistic. And you can see I've thrown my camel, well, my husband's camel scarf, actually. It's a lovely warm wool scarf, and it just shows you how you can layer the look. And trainers would work well with this look as well. A roll neck under the shirt is such a great way of wearing your shirt during the colder months. So rather than just thinking of what you're going to wear on top of it, um, wearing a roll neck underneath is just adding that extra layer. Still looks very stylish and very well put together. And alternatively, you can tie a knot in the shirt, which just gives it more of a solid look and still looks chic again, but very effortless. Look number 11 is the crossover shirt. So for this shirt, I definitely recommend an oversized shirt just so that you have enough fabric to actually cross it over. And here you can see how I do it. Um, I didn't want to take my trousers down, so you can see I've tucked it in, but of course you don't fold it up. You actually tuck it into your jeans or trousers. And I definitely recommend um, a high-waisted or even mid-rise pair of jeans or trousers, or even a skirt. Um, all looks great, it's just very much more flattering. And I've teamed it with my Louis Vuitton bag for a more elevated look. And last but not least is the white shirt worn over a dress with a tied knot. I just think again it looks so effortless, so chic and it's a great alternative to a jacket when you're not sure what to wear as a casual cover-up. Um, this is perfect for transitional styling for the warmer months. And um, yeah, you can see that I've worn it here with boots. I've rolled the sleeves up for more of a relaxed look. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you enjoy this content, please comment down below and let me know which look was your favorite. And I'll see you soon. Have a great day.